You may have heard a lot of buzz over the years about key performance indicators or KPIs for the healthcare industry. If you're in an independent practice or part of a larger medical group, do you use KPIs? And if you don't, should you consider developing some of your own? Should you invest in a system of KPIs proposed by an outside consultant? These next few minutes are intended to get you more comfortable with this whole subject area and to help you to think critically about how KPIs can specifically impact your practice and enhance its operational success. So now that you know what we're going to cover here, be sure to check out the description below this video where you'll find helpful links and more that'll further your understanding. And with that said, let's get into it. If you look at Investopedia, they define key performance indicators as a set of quantifiable measurements used to gauge a company's overall long-term performance. Now, performance indicators can include things like financial metrics, such as net profit margin and various revenue cycle metrics. And in the healthcare industry, they often include things related to operational efficiency, like staff to patient ratio and patient satisfaction. And there are metrics related to patient outcomes and safety. Larger healthcare organizations with professional management have long used many of these healthcare KPIs to monitor various aspects of their organization's performance. But medical practices and even large groups have been a bit slower to adopt them. So let's get into the different types of KPIs and see how they apply. Many KPIs help track the financial health of an organization. And keeping an eye on these financial KPIs helps an organization to assess their performance and find areas to improve. So let's consider some examples. Accounts receivable is crucial for understanding the revenue cycle. Monitoring not just the total amount, but how long it takes on average to collect payments is important. And this metric is referred to as days in AR. And the performance varies with high performing billing departments collecting within 30 days and below average ones taking over 60 days. Another valuable financial KPI is average cash flow. By comparing the average daily cash flow from the last six months to that of the recent week, organizations can gauge their revenue management efficiency. And, of course, there's profitability. Here, organizations can use standards from groups like the Medical Group Management Association to evaluate metrics such as how much they pay in salaries relative to how much they earn from patient services. And... Average non-physician practice cost per healthcare professional is another common metric. These help compare operational costs and staffing efficiency across different practices. Healthcare organizations can benefit greatly from monitoring operational efficiency related KPIs. Doing so can help to ensure that operations remain efficient and patients have a good experience and that staff is adequately meeting the needs of their job functions. Some KPIs to consider here are average patient wait time. This is a KPI that directly affects patient satisfaction. As a matter of fact, studies have shown that patient wait time is the number two complaint about visiting the doctor's office. Fortunately, it's a metric that's easy to track with an EHR system because that system will usually have the capability to record the time the patient arrives in the waiting room and then the time that the patient is placed in the exam room. And developing a key performance metric by computing wait time averages for each patient's arrival will help to monitor this component of patient satisfaction. A low claims denial rate is also an excellent KPI. Denials can occur for a number of reasons, so the first strategy is to avoid them. So mining the data in your medical billing system, you can establish an average claims denial rate and track this metric over time. Another indicator of efficiency is the number of days spent initially processing insurance claims. The average length of time between the date of service and the date the claim is submitted can be a significant portion of days and accounts receivable. So this metric is very worth tracking. Medical practices can also benefit from monitoring KPIs related to patient care. And doing so will provide insights into the patient experience and allow for making necessary adjustments to improve their overall care. For example, CMS maintains an inventory of electronic clinical quality measures that cover a whole host of topics that practices with an EHR system can measure. And these topics range from depression screening to immunizations to assessment and treatment for many chronic common conditions. Some types of patient outcomes can be tracked as individual events, and these would include like patient safety issues, falls, and medication errors. They also include misidentified patients that resulted in erroneous EHR entries. 
Social media ratings and comments can also be a source of patient complaints to be evaluated. And many healthcare organizations offer electronic patient satisfaction surveys that are a healthcare metric on the performance of the practice. Should you invest in healthcare metrics for your practice or medical facility? Well, in fact, you probably already try to monitor some healthcare KPIs in your business. You watch your accounts receivable and your cash flow. You look for indications of growth in the number of patients seen and overall labor costs. And you're sensitive to comments and complaints from patients. So it's not a big step to organize this information more formally and to take the time to review it with your partners, other healthcare professionals, and your support staff. It can only help you to deliver quality care, a goal shared by everyone. Remember to check out the description below this video for helpful links and more. In the meantime, give us a call, drop us an email, or come visit us on the web. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date on the business of healthcare. The Fox Group, serving the healthcare community since 1989.